This is Dr. Stephen Dominguez, and today we're talking about proteins, fat, and carbohydrates. Proteins, as you know, are the basic structure of our body tissue and organs, and protein consumption is important for the growth and repair of cells. Proteins are found in eggs, milk, cheese, tofu, nuts, meats, poultry, fried beans, split peas, and lentils. Proteins are essential for our growth and for our sustenance of life. Most of us don't get enough proteins. Why? Because the American Dietary Association has failed us. They have told us to consume 15% of our daily calories as protein. Well, that's 0.8 grams per body weight of kilogram. What am I telling you to do? Look, I'm telling you you need to consume 40% of your daily calories as protein. That's 2 grams per kilogram of your ideal body weight. Where do I get this from? From my training at the UCLA School of Public Health, University of Iowa College of Medicine, and the Cleveland Clinic, and 25 years of experience as a physician. I'm telling you, protein is a key. Each protein gram has four calories. So four times 25 grams, 100 calories of protein. Now, research at Harvard University, high protein diet times 12 weeks, no exercise. Those individuals lost 4.5 pounds in 12 weeks. Why? Because protein requires more energy to digest. Energy comes from your fat cells. So the longer it's, the protein stays in the intestine, the slower the absorption, the greater the stimulation of your satiety centers. Where do you find protein? Good protein is found in cold water, hard bodied fish, lean meats, skinless poultry, beans, legumes, nuts, and supplements with high amino acid content. So about fat. Yes, we need fat. We don't need a lot of it, but we need fat. Why? It's for energy, it's also for growth and repair of your nervous system and other tissues. What does the ADA tell you? Again, 30%. Ridiculous! I want you to consume less than 15%. And I want you to consume 10% of your total calories as fat. If you consume 10% of your calories as fat, you will be more healthy than the ADA's 30%. I have the research to prove it. Now, there are three different types of fats. Saturated fats. Yes, I said saturated fats. I didn't stutter. It's an S for saturated. Butter, margarine, meats, cheeses, poultry, anything that's a solid, you consider it to be a saturated fat. You do not want saturated fat in your blood. Think of a cholesterol plaque that we talked about earlier. Now, polyunsaturated fats. These are found in fish. The omega-3s. That's fine. Monounsaturated fats. These are the best. Olive oil. You should be cooking with olive oil. You should be dunking your bread in olive oil, not in cheese spread. Peanut oil, avocados, canola oil. Okay, those are fine. Those are also monounsaturated. But remember, with avocados and peanut oil, you eat a lot and you get a lot. So, moderation. There are 9 calories per gram of fat. So if you eat 10 grams of fat times 9, that's 90 calories. USC Medical Center Research showed a high fat diet consumed by the participants in the morning only. They measured their triglycerides or free fatty acids and their insulin levels throughout the day and night. They found they were elevated at night. These individuals had an elevation of these essential proteins at night, essential free fatty acids. They gained visceral abdominal fat and they became obese. Get the picture? Carbohydrates. These are our main source of energy. You know them, I know them. They're breads, nuts, grains. They should make up at least half of your daily caloric intake. There are four calories per gram. 25 grams times four calories, 100 calories. Okay. Again, Harvard University. They developed a glycemic index. A high glycemic index is those foods which, when you consume, has a rapid increase and a rapid decrease in blood sugar. That's erratic. A low glycemic index has a smooth blood sugar. The glycemic index was studied at Harvard. They showed individuals who consumed a low glycemic index diet had weight loss compared to those who had a high glycemic diet. They also had improved hemoglobin A1Cs, fasting blood sugars, and normalized insulin levels. Look, we need proper ratios of consumption of our calories. I am requesting to change what you are eating now to 40% protein, 10% fat, 50% carbohydrate. This is your daily caloric intake based on your ideal weight times your activity factor per day. So now you have it. Your ideal weight times your daily activity factor gives you a number of calories that you should be consuming per day. The ideal ratio is 40% of those calories from protein, 10% from fat, and 50% of those calories are from carbohydrate. Okay, this is an exciting lecture. I hope you find it useful. I hope you share it with your family. I hope you share it with your friends. This is Dr. Stephen Dominguez. God bless.